والصلاة والسلام على عبد الله ورسوله نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه. And sometimes that means that is a piece of paper and pieces of paper. الورقة البيضاء the paper or the I made um, Swedish chocolate balls and I've been trying to stay away from them all morning. I've already had one, but my mind keeps, like my brain keeps telling me go have another one. I honestly don't remember when the last time I vlogged was. It must have been sometime last week I know it's been over a week anyways and the reason being if you can't tell from my voice is because all of us got sick subhanallah I don't even know how when it was just bad and I'm still not fully recovered but I feel a lot better alhamdulillah I still have a cold and my head is pounding but alhamdulillah you know what you know what type of person i am guys it's like i will have an idea and i will be like oh i really want to do this and then in a, like in a split second i'm talking five six seconds it's like something happens in my body where i'm just like you know what i don't feel like doing that anymore and it and it happens several times during the day i'm like 
I've been really, really wanting to go to the beach by myself. Why does it happen that I have an idea, I really want to do it, and then in, in just a couple of seconds, I don't want to do it anymore? Does that happen to any one of you as well, or is it, like, is it weird? Also, I love my room. I love the big windows and that it gets so much sunlight during the days. The only thing I feel like is missing is a desk where I can actually sit and do my work, whether that be, you know, my Arabic courses or just do my makeup or whatever it is. I need somewhere to sit in my room because sitting at the dining table in the living room doesn't feel, I don't know, it just doesn't feel. <laughs> I'm thinking, should I just get in the car now and go to the beach just to check it out and see? Um, maybe it's not too hot. Maybe I can do it. I don't know. Because I feel like it's my own brain kind of tricking me and convincing me that, you know, oh, you can't do it because you don't have time and you have other stuff to do and you need to prioritize this and that. Like it's it's my body kind of wanting to stay in within my own comfort. I think it's that, but also those are valid reasons not to go. We made it guys. I am at the beach. I'm gonna show you guys in a second and it was definitely worth it. I thought that there were gonna be people here and they were gonna think like, who is this girl out on the beach in this weather? I mean, there are a few people, but you can't really see them. They're like far away and some workers, but I'm really, really hoping that the weather is gonna allow me to just sit at the beach for at least 20 minutes and just enjoy the peace and the sound of the waves. Why am I so happy? It feels like I've accomplished like the greatest thing ever. For me, honestly, it is though. This is huge for me. I know there's no one at the beach, but why do I feel uncomfortable? Like this is the level of uncomfortable I feel. Everything in my life is just uncomfortable. How am I, I feel so weird and strange and like I'm doing something so out of place by just going to the beach by myself. Like what? Excuse me, what? Let me live. Anyways, good thing is that we always have our... Whoa. We always have our beach stuff in the car, so it's ready in the car. I've been wanting to do this for, I think, ever since I moved here. There's something special about moments like this, sitting by the shore with nothing but the sound of the waves and the whispers of the wind. It's in these quiet moments that I find peace, a peace that only comes when we disconnect from everything but ourselves and a lost creation. We live in a world that never stops moving. We're always plugged in, always reaching for the next thing. But when was the last time we just stopped when was the last time we gave ourselves permission to simply be it's easy to get lost in the noise and the hustle of everyday life but allah calls us to reflect to think to ponder he tells us to look at his creation at the earth the skies the oceans and remember him sitting here i am reminded of the vastness of allah's mercy how small i am in comparison to his creation yet how significant i am to him each of us has been given this opportunity to connect with our creator, to draw closer to him. And sometimes all it takes is stepping away from the noise, turning off the distractions, finding stillness. In that stillness, we discover more than just peace. We find purpose and we remember who we are in this grand design. So take a moment, disconnect, breathe in the beauty that surrounds you and reflect on the one who created it all. I'm back in the car and that was definitely so worth it. It's something about sitting alone on a beach and just hearing the sound of the waves and like not being on your phone or anything, just literally just be with yourself and your thoughts and looking at Allah's creation that just calms your heart and you're like, nothing else matters. I feel like you need to do that. It doesn't have to be at the beach. I just feel like you need to have that 
reflection where you just turn everything off and disconnect and you just you're just with your own thoughts you reflect upon yourself upon the boss creation things that you see things that you don't see relationships whatever it is you need to have that every day and it just brings you back to life kind of i don't know how to explain it it just grounds you and reminds you that there are so many more important things going on in the world i feel like i was very unprepared as well i'm not gonna lie i just came here with a bottle of water no sunglasses no like nothing The story I'm going to mention, and this is a real story that took place. There was a man in my country, a group, they cause a lot of atrocities, they kill innocent people. So what this brother did was, he's a taxi driver, he drives people from place A to Z. So a guy says to him, can you take me somewhere? I'll give you a hundred dollars. And the location he mentioned to him was a very close location. He said, yeah, of course I would. hundred dollars, some people, they get that the entire month. So he jumped into the car. He said, but listen, I have one issue. I need to go to the petrol station and I need to put petrol in my car. He went to get petrol into his car. The guy couldn't wait. So he left and he started to agree with another taxi driver and he jumped into the other taxi driver and he left. So when he came, he saw the guys gone. He could see him going to the other taxi. So he got into his car, drove after him and tried to race after him. And why are you leaving me for? He got upset. The other driver just ignored him and they drive off, drive off and they drive off and they drive off. And many cars start to build up between them. And suddenly the car explodes. The passenger was a suicide bomber who wanted to get to a location to bomb it. He, on the other hand, wanted that hundred dollars. Then he realized, subhanAllah, Allah was what? Allah was preventing me from this. This is example of so many things that may not be shown to us in our lives where Allah prevented us from something only because this is the better option for us. And we didn't realize that. Everything Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does is full of wisdom and knowledge, brothers.